Okay, now that we have our finished bedroom, I'm assuming that you've submitted your assignment and you have a little extra time. So let's put a little swinging door on here. Okay, so uh, to do that, I want to get this in position where I can see that door a little bit better. I'm going to turn towards it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and that looks good. So kind of get it in that area. You can always pan down like this and then kind of get a good view of the door. We're going to work from the inside of this room. Okay, so let's go to our rectangle tool and I'm actually going to go in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to kind of draw a new rectangle from corner to corner. Okay, and what that does is it makes a new rectangle to cover that opening. We're going to open that in just a second. So go ahead and click on the select tool. That's the arrow and double click that new rectangle. Now it's highlighted and we know we can work with it. So look, next we're going to right click on it and we're going to choose make group. That's going to make that rectangle all into one group. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So pay close attention to this. So next we're going to click over here on the move tool and change it to the rotate tool. Okay. And you can see that it changes colors depending on which wall I'm on. We want it to stay blue. So in order to do that, I'm going to hover over the blue hold down the shift button on my keyboard and then click once in that corner. Then I'm going to slide over and click once in the other corner. And then I'm going to simply move my mouse over until I get it open to about where I want it. That looks good. I'm going to click a third time and let go of my keyboard. Okay. So now I've got a finished door. Now, while it's still selected like that, I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to right click on that door and I'm going to choose explode. Okay. This allows me to push and pull it. So now I'm going to go to the push pull tool and I'm going to pull it out. And when it gets to the distance on the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to choose 1.75 inches. So that's shift apostrophe enter. And it's made a nice little one and three quarter inch thick door. So now if you look down, you can see you've got a door. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, try it a few times. Um, you might have to, uh, you know, undo some things and get it to work. Um, but definitely looks a lot neater than just having an opening. So hope that helps and I hope it allows you to get a door for yourself.